two be two, two be two. What's good? What's good, y'all? How y'all doing? I don't look too tired, do I, y'all? Mm -hmm. Y'all remember? No, I told you, man. It ain't like that tired. Like, man, I'm, um, man, I'm sleepy. You know what I'm saying? It's just over energizing the outer. You know what I'm saying? The inner, the inner, good, baby. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta remember. You have layers to you, so. You have to figure out, you know what I'm saying? And I don't recommend just anybody do this, you know. Make sure, ensure that you are highly in tune with your body, you're aware of your body, what it can do and can do, and um, be balanced in what you're trying to do. And I do push my body to limits that uh, I really believe that other people couldn't, you know, withstand, handle, whatever. And um, But there's more people, a lot of people can do more and, and go beyond. There's a lot of us that can do a lot. Um, <clears throat> what I did, man, I pulled out, okay, the, our old affirm, our affirmation cards, right, our affirmation deck from the early stages of our phases when we was going through, right, so I thought that was appropriate to pull them out because who knows what who's going, might be going through right now, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going through relationship issues, family issues, friends, dynamics, you know what I'm saying, there's so many things that's going on in our lives right now. <laughs> if the phone moves, that's my cat, Max. <laughs> that's my cat. My buddy, y'all know cat. Come here, Maxie. You know, we're playing with things. He'll earn it more than we like to play. Excuse me for that. But, um, so, um, like I was saying, the, uh, we're going through a lot, but we're coming, a lot of us are coming out of the, the many of us who, been down for a while we're coming to our fruition of shining and, and, and getting our wings back you didn't you didn't made it through the storm you didn't made it through trials and tribulations or whatever you was going through and you have something to contrib contribute now all right so do the best you can to contribute because the universe the the realm is totally open for positive energy and powerful people to come forward and uh help heal the land, man, because we'll, and that will bring me to my next video, what I'm going to make today is, uh, I go live on this one, though, y'all, because I'm going to start going live, the, uh, like I said, website is still working on it, so because it's not up yet, um, I can still do the same things on, on this YouTube and, you know, on other platforms, uh, we'll stay with this one, though, and, uh, I'll be going live, I'll do live, uh, features, events, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all right, until we get the website up, until people can make appointments and stuff like that. And I'm still um, needing and trying to reach out to uh, a lot of the um, beautiful um, spiritual community that um, wants to be a part of something that's just going to be, you know, uh, healing for the land. All right. And what brings me to my other one was that um, my next video is going to be we're going to talk about the Virgos, man. Virgo is your mind. <laughs> so many understand and many have been reading and, 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 and doing their homework and understanding of the Zodiac and how um, what the what the powerful Virgos have to bring to the to the to the cipher. You know what I'm saying? And um, this one of our components that we bring, remember I told you about the Jumanji effect, when you hit your little chest, whatever, and then the Jumanji, the, the description come up, is healing, you know what I'm saying, we, 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 uh, Almighty gave us that, that power, that understanding, um, in, in any form, um, but most of us just don't know how to, what it is, where it comes from, um, how does it resonate, or how to use it, and so, I studied kinesiology, uh, physiology, and things like that, because I understood that, I had a fascination for a while on learning the body and stuff like that. In college, I was able to take uh, um, a lot of classes on, you know, anatomy, physiology, and all that stuff about the body and stuff like that. So, um, pretty aware. But the hands, you know, I um, love to think that I have uh, hands that, you know, have a, a healing effect. You know, I've been with so many people in my life that would tell me, yeah, I love when you massage me or you know after you're touching me or whatever got you so this month man i attribute to uh us virgos you know beautiful virgos to put out i mean look at uh uh look at your girl b I believe she's a virgo right high, high powerful supreme being out there uh, you don't break my soul you don't break my man boy. i'm gonna match that real talk um Affirmation. We might go over the oh five minutes. That's all, that's all right. Might go over five minutes today. 
on this affirmation. I don't mind that on this affirmation because it's, it's important. It's a substance. Um, one of the things that I started noticing, um, when your energy, you'll tell when your energy starts uh, resurfacing, the, the positive energy, the energy is recognizable so so well through so many people. Um, and that's your aura, your shine, your outer outer uh, being brightness. And you'll know when it's working for you because people will start gravitating to you, good, bad, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I always remember. <laughs> from, you know, I know... I, that's why I will never, at least right now, I'll never gray out uh, uh, color my uh, my pepper little pepper goatee and stuff because I want people to know uh, that I'm not hiding from my age. You know what I'm saying? Cause, like, <laughs> it's funny how people, you know, I'm 52. Like what? They're like yeah, 52. Man. I just, you know, I attribute it to the Almighty the realm. I attribute it to me being positive, me keeping myself honest with myself. Um, and being unrestricted on, on how to take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? I take care of myself through the spiritual understanding that, you know, I'll be led to take care of, do the right thing, you know, as I keep eating and right, walking and exercising and um, investing in myself, you know, in my journal, man, journal, journal. Because another thing I think uh, didn't tell me about is that journals keep you, they measure you and they always keep you, they keep you abreast, all right? You know, you look in your journal, you know you, you when you've done it redundantly so long, then you'll realize, man, I got to write my journal. Not only did I write my journal, because you go in your journal, if you ain't worked out in a while, if you ain't did this in a while, and you ain't talk about it, then you know it, it puts you on schedule. It puts you, put you back on, you know, back on that block, all right, for yourself. All right, so the uh, affirmation today, it was a unique one because I chose it because I had so many people coming in uh, on my Facebook and on these platforms and social media because I extended myself um, out there to... Uh, gravitate to folks who, who want to better themselves, help themselves on a spiritual level instead of um, always looking. And I don't, I don't uh, not knock anybody for using medication, Prozac and stuff like that to for the anxiety, stress, and all these other um, things we use to um, help us um, maintain on the level that, that we can be conducive for everybody else. But what I what I know for me works is that um, Prozac don't work for me. Uh, it works, but then it doesn't work. You know, it's a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? It's a, all these medications are going to have a side effect or something. That it has to contribute to, to uh, help you carry on. You know what I'm saying? You know, I remember one commercial when I was little. Like, uh, and then the comedian come out. You know, you have people like Cat Williams, all these other comedians. Like, you take one person. <laughs> You take one medication to fix one thing, you gotta take another medication to, to for the side effect of that medication and another medication for the side effect of that medication, okay? So I told y'all that you know, I witnessed my father with close to 12 bottles of, of uh, prescription drugs on this counter, you know, before he passed away. And that was very disturbing for me. So I understood quickly what it is, what, 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 it is, what was expected of me, all right? So we got people, you know, coming out the woodworks, want to see who this cat is and all that stuff. And I just, you know, I'm looking and I'm like, wow, okay. But I attribute this to now just get out the like game. Get out the like thing, like game of thinking. Get into what's going to get me through my life game. All right. We're not really here to like, you know what I'm saying? We want to like if, if it's, that's what's needed. But I need people to get the message. I'm here for you to get the message. Great that some of y'all, you know, the young ladies coming out out the woodworks, and I, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I get it, you know. It, it, if you coming on my platform, skimpy clothes and skimpy, you know, and all that, and your butt out and all that stuff, get it. I, yeah, I get it. If somebody pushing their agenda, talking about, hey, this is what they here for, and not that. So that just goes to show, ladies, the uh, realness, ladies of understanding. You see the type of game that's being played. You know what I'm saying? There's men out there, this is, I'll use the platform instead of uh, discourage it or, or blast me to it. You, I thank you for you ladies coming out there in them skimpy clothes and all that because you contribute to what we're trying to bring back in our, in our, in our lives. Why? You know, these are, these are things that one time, point time, we was behind closed doors doing it. And because what it does is we have children on these platforms. We have young people on these platforms. What are we saying to them when we do this? You know what I'm saying? Just because society wants to go that way and and um, um, 
promote sexuality in a way that at one point in time we was parental guidance and, 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 and had, you know, control over it where that, you know, it was a private thing. Doesn't mean that, um, cause society don't care. Society just want to make a buck off of us. I mean, that's what I'm trying to get us to understand. Um, when, we, when will we go to the point where we want, will not sell our soul? You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to knock nobody on how they make their muscle and their hustle. We know the oldest, um, one of the oldest professions in this world, if, if it's not the oldest and first one is prostitution. You know, a lot of us shun that, you know, shun away from it all day, but be right next to the, to not next door to the brothel or the prostitution ring or something like that. So, um, uh, uh, young ladies and ladies of older age out here doing that and going on these people's page and promoting here's that and that, yeah. Because I'll be, I'm not a bashfully ashamed of saying, you know, do I watch this and watch that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you I got an out of shell that needs to be fed. So, I'm not going to sit up here and, um, and um, starve it, but at the same time, you're not gonna see me. You'll never see Sean out there promoting sex in a way where that you know you'll you'll be like, well, nah, he, he, that kid right there, that man right there, he abusive with it, or he he, you know, he promote the, the the exploitation of women and all this stuff. No, nah, nah, kids and all that. No, nah, I ain't doing it because I don't do it for myself. You know what I'm saying? But I do respect people to each his own, and I'm just one trying to attribute to. We go back to our principles and. And, and morals and values of ourselves. Because when you value yourself, you won't do that. And you won't let nobody do that to you. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it totally different than everybody else. I, I like the fact that you young ladies and you young women will come on and see this guy and, and think that, you know, I, I, I can get him to like me and he'll like my butt and he'll like this. And you miss the point. You miss who. You misjudge. You stereotype somebody because of their looks or what they past is. And, I'm here to tell you, you know, it ain't gonna work. I made a little song last night. Hey, I've been around the world. <laughs> I think people don't realize I've been around the world. So I'd have been around all the all all life's women to give to me. Have I been with the a millionaire, billionaires and all no no no. But see that's in your mind what you thinking that oh they different. No, they ain't. Same damn skin. Same type of skin, same type of flesh, right? The only thing different is uh, more, more beautiful perfume, come get on, went to the spa. Uh, they had people to get them sprayed. You know what I'm saying? You probably ain't have to move, just sit in the chair. Where the, the ones I've been dating and all that stuff, you do it themselves and all that stuff, gotta go where, where, you know what I'm saying? But the same type of individual. One with money, one with less. You ain't, don't play with yourself with it, okay? So I say that because I don't, I look past the outside. Your outer is just a shell. How you treat your outer can tell me a lot. If one comes around me in scampy clothes and da da da, smiling, ain't got nothing to say, but all they doing is walk around in your face, looking all of me, because they want you to talk to them and all that stuff, um, that don't contribute to me. I played that game for so many years. Not knocking it. The aesthetics is nice. It's pretty. But please realize and know that I have learned my lesson a long time ago. That that ain't gonna get me nowhere. <laughs> it's just temporary. It's like putting something in the microwave. There's a time around it. When the time run out, what's going on? Exactly. All right, so get out the like and let's get into the meat and potatoes. What's, I see this individual I've been running with him. People have been telling me about him, his struggles and down. And wow, he's still standing. Not only is he still standing, but he's he running with it. Not only he running with it, but he ain't looking good with it. <laughs> Sorry about my ego. But uh, yeah, yeah, believe that. <laughs> ain't going to look good. Hey, September, baby. All right. So for those of you out there that's in your heart, your feelings, um, you empty right now, your soul, your body, your you relationships and this and that somebody had left you whatever whatever y'all broke up whatever whatever man this is your rebirth this is your rebirth you can reborn you can rebirth something beautiful this month out of the ugliness that was born last month you get that birth something beautiful this month 
out of the ugliness that was born last month or that you bore last month. Okay, because some of us got some animalistic ways that we just want to get away from and savagery and stuff like that. All right, don't let that little ugly, you know, ball of toxicity, you see what I'm saying, permeate into your rebirth. Feel me? Why well, I'm saying it's rebirth, September, baby. September 2nd, man. I'm on Friday. So I got to go live on second, on first, September 2nd. I want y'all to join me. I'm telling y'all now. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't even know what I'm going to do here, y'all. But I promise on everything, man, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it one big something. For, you know what I'm saying? So I want you to do that for yourself. Those of you who have been walking with me, journeying with me, and so many of you, uh, a couple of wives say thank you so much. You know, my, my husband. He won't say it, but you <laughs> you left him tap it to side hill. You know what the boss say? Yeah, hey, he writing in his journal. <laughs> you be getting no, no, like, man, I love it, man. And I get it. Most men won't come on and tell another man, hey man, you help me out or whatever. You know, I get it, man. I get it. Cause some of us just macho. And we just I'm trying to massage that out of us, you know, that macho misogynist mystic view on how we sometimes attribute ourselves compared to the woman. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, man. I promise on everything, young dog. Young men, young middle men, middle us, you know what I'm saying? Um, and old dogs, we can learn new tricks. Don't let nobody tell us old dogs can't know new tricks, man. I'm learning. I learned so many new tricks, man. Shoot. Boy. The magician ready to go into the circus and do his act. So you can put me on stage if you want to. <laughs> I ain't telling you, I'm not telling you, you might, you're going to have a good time, but I am. And if I'm going to have a good time, it's more likely, you know, when you're around a Virgo, Chief, hey, yeah, we them, we them, all right? So love on yourself, keep loving on yourself, and man, I promise on everything, man. When you find your purpose, all right, when you find your purpose, Stick with it, especially if your heart feel it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get people, you'll know when you find your purpose and, you, and you'll start showing when you start moving in your purpose because people will start coming at you so much harder, man. So much harder talking about you can't do this and you can't do that. But what's so blessing to me and what's so um, fruitful and lessons learned for me, man, shout out to all my spiritual family out there, man. I'm just feeling them, uh, is... It's a level of respect when people come at you, whether good or bad. So I'm talking about, I told y'all, my name will be heard, but not for the reasons of popularity, clout, publicity, or wanting something from the world. My name will be heard because I want to give to the world. I want to give the best of me to the world. And that's why so many others' will, name will be heard, too, because they wear their hearts and their emotions on their sleeves. And they're not afraid of it. Knowing that we're going to get repercussions and pain and shots thrown at us and all that. And that's what makes you chosen. Because you choose to dare to push yourself and be something bigger than you. That's the dream. That's the ultimate. You know what I'm saying? And them type of people, I be honest, I have to be honest with those of you who look at us like, mm, man, F that, man, we, 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 thinking my life is at peace. That's why. My life is at peace. I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with the surroundings. I'm at peace with I don't have a lot. And understanding I don't need a lot. And if a lot comes to me, I can deal with a lot. A lot's not going to overcome me. A lot's not going to eat me and devour me outside the end. That's the whole point of this. You get to this point because you know new levels are coming. So if great things come, it's not going to be a... I used to tell my kids, don't don't get caught up in the shiny things. Use the shiny things. They want you into the PlayStation, this, that, the car, da, 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 so that you be out of yourself, not be invested in yourself. Because what you invest in yourself, you start realizing... I don't need a whole lot. I don't need a whole lot of people telling me this. I don't need a whole lot of things. I don't need, you know what I'm saying? I can divest myself from 
from this and that, and I can I can write my own path and live my own world. That's what we're talking about, all right? Unrestricting yourself. I mean, what to understand somebody said, well, you said um, we got the, uh, we got more freedoms, in my post yesterday, we got more freedoms than most countries. He's like, why, why would you say we're, we're the freest country in the world? No, <laughs> just young person. I said, yeah, how, how free are you? You know what I'm saying? How free do you think? You know, I'm free to do whatever I want. I can open a business. I can do this and that. Okay. Cool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And when I started, now we'll expand more, but when I started spending on more, it's like, and can you do this and this and that and this and that? And it's like, well, no, not everybody can. Mm -hmm. Freedom is a cost for freedom. You know what I'm saying? So to be totally free, you get some things, steps that a person has to take and uh, and, and do and sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen people doing it. You know, shout out to these people that go out to New Mexico or Mexico out there. And, and, uh, and I can't remember their name. <laughs> it's a group. It's an organization, boy. But mm, it'll come to me. But um, one of the freest type of people categories of people out there living, you know what I'm saying? And grouped up over 500,000 people, you know what I'm saying? Like-minded, you know what I'm saying? Off, not off the grid, but off the grid of working for the government and working entwined with that and worrying about who's going to, you know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing. Because then you ain't got nobody telling you over your head, telling you nothing, you know what I'm saying? So we're working. We're working towards, because I think that's what the future is going to lead to. You know, your government's not going to have so much. It's trying to show you that it's going to have a whole, whole lot more hands. I think they talking about this month they're going to start giving out checks or something like that. I don't know. Or been taking off of social media for a while, like that social media and stuff, you know, getting talked to because it's just a scary tactic to get you to do. You need to work on your own self, your own inner being, and your your inner being, your spirit will tell you which, which direct because the universe is telling us. Gaia, Gia, well, how you want it, Kai, you know, Earth. Um, is guiding us to what the appropriate action is going to be for us. Okay, um, so work. You know what I'm saying? Work hard for yourself. Use the energy. I've been showing and been um, an example for so many on how to use that energy. Um, shed if you have to. And, you know, a lot of us are shedding in these full moons and um, the the realm changing and um, with your moon going into moon going into sign of Pluto. All this, you know. I listen, but I, I, you know, I just, I let the goddess of God, you know what I'm saying? All right? So, be good to yourself. Hug yourself. If you got to, hug yourself. Love yourself. I hug myself to hug y'all. All right? Hey, there's people out there, you know, I hear it. Man, believe me. I hear it. Hey. <laughs> They got too much feminine energy coming out of them, you know. Even the one that one look like a little girl and all that stuff. I love it. <laughs> man, I love it, man. Cause I'm trying to tell you, man. The mind. I was the one, the one kid when they would pay attention when the um, the scrambled egg would be bought, uh, cooking in the uh, the pan, and man, uh. Nancy Reagan would go in there, hun, uh, Mr. Reagan pumped that. Uh, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> I was the one paying attention to them, them commercials right there. For what other godly reason? Like, yeah, I can't waste this. So the psychology of somebody saying, hey, he did, he did. Another man coming out and putting on a comment, taking his time to write a three paragraph comment, a four paragraph comment or something. Or even, you know, come on and do anything with a video or anything about another man. Thank you. That's come on, that's, um, confirmation to myself that I'm looking good. <laughs> that I'm looking beautiful. And I'm going to try not to get out the ego because I, I, I attribute it to the fact that if your man eyes, watch this, if your man eyes are looking at me and you coming at me like that, then that only means one thing for me, which I really, really care about is how do women view me? Love you. And they do. <laughs>